Good morning, everybody. Today is our first day of Sophia and for block one, we are starting with sketching. I'm super excited. It's now five to eight. We have orientation in a bit. Come with me on my first day as an official Sophia medical student. Let's go. Hello everybody, <laughs> my name is Karen and we are going to go and watch a C-section. This extra large scrubs that we are wearing. <laughs> There's nothing much happening. There's just one patient that was centimeters dilated. We needed to fetch some blood results for a patient. And since the distance between the lab and the maternity ward is greater than a football field, we ended up having to drive there with the intern. I'd say it was about a two minute drive. Oh, guys, we're done for the day. I got my signatures. So we're ready to go home. Today I was in the postnatal ward. So we got to see some babies currently. Five to three. I did present a case that I collected earlier. The patient had high jamios, so they were scheduling a C-section for her to deliver. I didn't get to tell you about my call, so I actually got to do the ultrasound on that patient that came in during the intake. I located the fetal head and I moved it around. You can see the spine. It was so cool. So it's the first time I've done an ultrasound. I thought I knew. today which is basically when our colleagues teach each other the lectures and then the lecturer just gives us tips on how the presentation went. <laughs> been a lot of exciting experiences since being crowned Miss India South Africa second princess 2023 and one of them was being invited to celebrate the 75th Independence Day of India with the Consulate General of India. There was an incredible vast array of performances celebrating each and every unique culture found in India from the north to the south. Each performance entrapped the majestic essence of our homeland and the night highlighted the fight and power in democracy. in the postnatal ward and post delivery and we babysitting this cute baby boy <coughs> can I take another one? do you want to be in my youtube video? Amrisha just delivered the baby. Okay. Dr. Babalal. <laughs> <laughs> That's an exciting experience. I'm gonna send this one to Mrs. Babalal <laughs> to see you. <laughs> 
So in the first patient, she had an episiotomy as well as an assisted delivery. So they used the vacuum. Basically, the vacuum is this small round suction pump, which they insert into the patient and it attaches to the baby's head. There's a pump at the end, literally vacuum the baby's head out. I cut the umbilical cord on the other patient that delivered. The nurse helped me to clamp the cord. She gave me a blade to just cut through the cord. So that was definitely the highlight of my week. a good intake, so two cesarean sections, and a very good. One of the days we were in the family planning clinic and here you can see me removing an implant on from the patient's arm for the very first time. Day and I was meant to present my PowerPoint on preterm labor, but because of the stay away, the doctors had to reschedule and some of them couldn't make it, so a couple of us didn't present. We finished at 11 o'clock today. This is the first time in the entire block she actually let us sign out early, and it's such a nice day today. So we just chilled at a cafe, and then later I am going for Pilates. But since it's Friday, let's go have some noodles. <laughs> It's 10 to 9 and Karen and I are on our first Sunday intake. <laughs> <laughs> Going out, and they gave us these gowns to wear. How apt! <laughs> Have you ever wondered that there are telescopes made to just sit and watch the stars? Such as SALT, the largest telescope in the southern hemisphere. How intriguingly mystifying. Sometimes the quiet moments in life tend to be the most gratifying. Even yet, as diabetes was being served to me in a cup in its favorite color of Belgium chocolate brownies, obviously accompanied by iced chocolate, peace and contentment in the stillness of life is often where we find clarity and inspiration, allowing us to fully appreciate the beauty of simplicity. And so it foregoes that our ability to truly connect with others is limited by our willingness to delve deep within our own selves. Haha, <laughs> I just wanted a snack and a view to charge my laptop. Hello guys, we are done with obstetrics. Yesterday we wrote our OSCE, today we wrote our theory paper, and oh my goodness, these seven weeks have been amazing. There were so many firsts for me, and I think this book is definitely one that I will remember for a long time. I made butter chicken for the first time. So many fun times during this vlog. And yeah, so this is my Stitchix vlog in Fufia. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!